Hello everybody, what's going on? It's AL7 here doing the unboxing of the MG36 by JG. So, uh, open that up real quick. Very excited that this is here. Ordered it from airsplat.com. Uh, $153 for the gun. Open. Right. On that side. Alright. And we got most of it in play. Okay, uh Airspot gave me a little instruction guide for AGs, gas guns, 60 day plus warranty, which I like. Uh, sticky paper, uh, receipt thingy, UPS paper, come on. And uh, what's this? Slingcopter.com. Um, an advertisement. Not exactly sure what it's for. But uh, I don't really care about that. Also, every time you order from Airspot, you get an Airspot sticker. Try to get this out of here. Okay, uh, from what I understand, this gun weighs 10 pounds. Oh, it came with a sling copter thingy. I guess that's cool. Uh, so, yeah. I don't really care about that. I don't really need the box at this point. Um, let me get a knife here. Uh, how, how long are we running? Two minutes, not so bad. Damn. It's tough stuff right here. Try a pair of scissors. That's better. Alright. I'll put the scissors back right quick. Alright, cool. Got the, I guess. So yeah, it says 36C Golden Eagle Electric Gun Series. Uh, it's kind of cool how it's like reflective. Can should be able to see that. Uh, yeah, so it says electric power, hop up, enhanced, adjustable hop up. Nice to see there's some um, soft plate. Um, Keep it safe during transport. And here it is, the JG MG G JG H and K uh, 36 MG 36. All right. Uh, oh, it's pretty nice. Not too heavy. It's not really heavy. Um, so you can see, it's kind of a, like a G 36C would end about right here but the barrel is pretty extended um from what i heard the jgmg36 actually has a g36 barrel length don't know if that's exactly true uh the sight's actually off which isn't that good got to figure out how to adjust that comes with two apertures which are practically identical i uh, gotta definitely adjust that um nice Comes with a big book ma uh, manual, and uh, yeah, and it also comes with a Golden Eagle, um, 8.4 volt battery, which aren't that great. Uh, these are JG batteries, uh, BBs. My bad. 20 grams. Uh, I wouldn't really use that. Let me get the uh, damn mag out. Here she comes. Oh, nice. It's in a uh, bubble packaging, which is definitely nice to have. Uh, I'm really hoping this gun works. Well, I mean, most airsoft guns do out of the box, but sometimes um, something could happen during shipping. Okay, uh, the magazine's pretty light. Seems kind of flimsy. It says Cal 556. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to try to put that in there. It's a nice fit, definitely. I really do have to sight this sight in. I don't know how to adjust it, but
But uh, it does look very nice. Has the uh, hop up sticker on there. Uh, everything's in good condition. This is definitely good plastic compared to the uh, H&K series where they have their G36s. Their plastic is terrible. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, magazine again does look a little flimsy, kind of cheapish, but that's okay. Definitely get more mags later. Check out the uh, hop up and charging handle. Works pretty nicely. Definitely not going to slap this around. Want it to last for a good while. And I'm pretty sure your hop up adjustment is right there, that large dial. I don't, again, not really sure if you can see that in frame. But yeah, it's not too heavy. I like that. Uh, I really don't own an assault rifle, and this is more of a light machine gun. It's kind of a hybrid. But if you do look it up, this is supposed to be a squad automatic weapon with a uh, beta mag, which is the two drum mags kind of put together. They're going there. They're $70. Definitely going to pick one of those up, but I do like this gun a lot. Um, it's very comfortable. I like G36s. I like the rail on top. It's metal, I think, or plastic. I don't know. Can't really tell. It's like that metalish plastic. But uh, definitely do like this so far. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's a bayonet mount up there. Uh, also, I don't like this orange tip. I mean, it looks kind of cheap and flimsy. The barrel doesn't wobble. Uh, I need to get a battery in this. So yeah, uh, it's also supposed to shoot 340 FPS out of the box, which isn't bad. I don't mind that. Uh, stock is foldable. So it just locks in place right there. It's supposed to. There we go. And then, if you want to take this in CQB, I'm definitely going to use this for CQB, not the sock folder though. Um, it's still not very heavy. I like it. It's very maneuverable, even for a long rifle. It's supposed to pop out of... I think you, yeah, you push up and then pull. That's very nice. Very nice quality, I gotta say. Um... Iron sights are nice too, I showed those already. I'm definitely gonna put the a white dot on the top of the white uh, front iron sight. Um, I'm going to put a scope on this later. Uh, I'm going to upgrade this, this is another thing I wanna talk about. Uh, some people don't like JG, they say they're shit. I disagree. Um, they're great, they're not expensive. I mean, I got my JG PS90, which then I converted to a regular P90. Got a uh, suppressor on there and a scope. Pretty freaking accurate. Uh, no problems with it. I like the version 6 gearbox because it never locks up. Uh, I'm hoping the uh, version 3 gearbox in here doesn't lock up at all, but uh, probably won't. Um, and yeah, definitely going to put a Mad Bull long, like an M16 length barrel. Definitely fit right there. And uh, I still got to say I like this gun a lot. I don't know how the bipod goes yet. It just kind of cranks out. Nice. It's a little. It's got some movement there, so when you um, set it down on something, and it's pretty good quality. It's all plastic like here, but again, the real G36 is made out of plastic. And I guess you press these little tabs here to fold her back in place. Again, really nice. Uh, a great rifle. And uh, now I'm definitely going to enjoy using this. Also, we'll be throwing on, after I get the orange tip off, either this uh, AGM short suppressor, or, uh, hell, if I feel like it, I can throw on an even longer barrel and put on this barrel extension here from the PS90, but uh, or just swap it for the suppressor, but damn, look at the length on that. that that's an extremely lengthy barrel. So this thing can definitely be a light machine gun, with sniper accuracy and definitely a scope so it'll make up for a great DMR I'm gonna throw a battery in this and test her out um, I do want to figure out how to adjust that sight first so I'm definitely gonna look at the uh, manual the uh, the uh, mag release is pretty nice it's stiff I like that it's not flimsy or nothing again I know I'm not gonna be disappointed with this and uh, again ambidextrous gearbox very nice. Can hear a click with that. I'm not going to be disappointed again. $153 from airsplat.com. Use their coupon code and got free shipping. Uh, should be able to house a 9.6, so I'm going to try to fit that in there. And uh, yeah, that's it for now, guys. So thank you for watching my overview of the JGMG 36. Um, I will be doing a review on this 
definitely. Uh, I didn't cover the uh, stock, but it seems to be a plastic, but sort of rubbery. Like, I don't know. Again, I really I like this so far. It's not terribly heavy for a light machine gun. Just imagine with the drum mag. And that's why I want it. I want a light machine gun that most people didn't own. I'd hate having common guns. That's why I don't like M4s or AKs. I don't want an M249 saw. Too expensive and. I hear their gearboxes have problems and the A and K light machine guns at least. So this for an assault rifle slash light machine gun, very nice, definitely. Uh, full review coming soon again. I know not even many people on YouTube even have videos on the MG36, and uh, I'm definitely gonna have plenty of videos, plenty of gameplay videos, and you name it, I'll have it. I may change this out later for a rail system, but I do like the bipod, man. That's really cool. So, uh, yes, uh, I do like it so far, and I'm going to wrap this video up. So, thank you for watching. Check out my airsoft reviews. If you go on my page, I have a whole playlist of airsoft reviews. Very Put a lot of time and effort into them. Also, check out my Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon first 30 minutes gameplay. Great game. Um, so, yes, that's it for all for uh, with the JG MG36. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Catch you guys later. Peace.